Hey guys, Compulsion84 here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a computer hard drive in the BIOS. It'll only take a couple of minutes and it's pretty easy to do. So once you've got your new hard drive installed, you need to put your computer back together and then check the BIOS to make sure that it's enabled. So when you boot up your computer, before the operating system loads, you'll see a motherboard screen that will prompt you to hit a key to enter the BIOS. This is almost always delete, as shown on screen. So once the computer boots, start repeatedly hitting the delete key over and over again. If you keep missing the prompt hitting the delete key sporadically, you can uh, try a more aggressive approach. So after very gingerly hitting the delete key and entering the BIOS, you will see something like this. Now every BIOS is different. I happen to have an MSI motherboard, so I'm going to show you how to do it with my motherboard. The same principle will apply, but you may need to look around your motherboard just a little bit to find out where those directories or where those settings are stored. So in the BIOS, you almost always use arrow keys to navigate, enter to confirm or go forward, and escape to go backwards. In this case, F1 is help. So if you hit F1, it will show you all your different options. Um, as a side note for later, plus and minus often changes priority. So what we'll need to do first is to go to the settings screen and to see if the hard drive is recognized at all. I'm looking for a Samsung 960 Pro M2 drive, which is highlighted here showing that the computer is recognizing it. So that's a good sign. So once your hard drive is detected, you will go to the hard disk drive, BBS priorities. It may be called something slightly different, but you're essentially looking for the priorities of the drives. We will scroll down to the bottom. So once you're in your boot menu, it'll show you a list of all your drives. In this case, I installed Windows on my Samsung 960 M2 drive, so I wanted to make sure it was on boot option one. So again, you use enter to go in and escape to go back. And if you need to adjust the priority, you go to the respective drive and hit plus or minus. And you can see I'm cycling through them right here. So now that you have your operating system drive or your new drive you plan to use an operating system on as your highest priority, you'll go back to your boot menu. Now you'll go into the boot settings again and adjust your fixed boot order priorities. Now here, this is kind of a supplemental thing. If you have multiple OS's installed on multiple drives, then you'll want to have the one you typically use show up first. Um, you can have a CD drive or DVD drive, if you still have one of those things, as a boot order above your primary hard drive. Um, what I typically recommend is, is to install your Windows or your operating system drive as number one. So navigate this, in this case, up with up and down arrows and using enter appropriately, and set your hard drive disk is number one. So now you'll need to go to the exit or the save and exit section, depending what your motherboard says. And you'll select save changes and reboot. Don't hit discard changes and exit or else you won't save your progress and you'll have to do this all over again. So in a lot of motherboards, they will show you a list of the things you changed. It'll show you the changes of boot order, things like that. In this case, I already had my hard drive set up, so I'm not getting that prompt or list, but make sure you clearly read through what it's showing here and make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary so you don't actually screw something up. So once you've reviewed the changes and they look good, hit enter to confirm, and now your computer will restart with those BIOS changes applied. So now you'll restart your computer as normal. The drive may show up and be ready to use. If not, you may need to format it or partition it. If you're in Windows 10, I will be making a video tutorial showing you how to do that. Once it's finished, it will be linked in the cards above and the description below. And then don't forget, if you want to learn how to install an M2 drive, that video will also be linked in the description below. So if you haven't seen me before, I'm Compulsion84, and I make videos about gadgets, gaming, and guns. Subscribe for more great content, and I hope I see you next time.